This is Union Station. You can hear there's a train coming or going. And I said in my video about Union Station that the buses, the Amtrak Thruway buses, stop out there. Um, and it is also the case that now Flixbus and Greyhound, which are the same company, they stop near here, but just north underneath this underpass. So over there, there is a building being demolished. And under here, we have the um, on-ramp for the Broadway Bridge. Now all of this is kind of gritty. I can imagine Batman beating up some mooks here. Um, but we're gonna pass under this. So right here, we have an Amtrak Cascades. Um, this is probably the one that leaves Eugene at 4.30. Maybe it's running a little bit late. Um, and I wish I was getting on train, but I'm not. So over here, this sign tells us about the Greyhound buses. Currently, Greyhound and Flixbus, Greyhound is owned by Flixbus, and they are two branches of the same company with different service models. But in both of their service models, this is now the bus stop. It is now a piece of sidewalk north of Union Station. So, point here, um, is this uncomfortable? Yes. Am I annoyed? Yes, I am. Um, not my favorite place to be waiting. Is it cold and rainy and getting dark in Portland? Yes, it is. But am I scared? Is this a scary place? Personally, no, I'm not scared um, as it is. The lights are out at this intersection, so I'm gonna go a block up where it looks like the lights are working. So some Hot Lips locations around Portland are closing. This is not one of them though, the uh, Pearl District Hot Lips, which is good because it's good pizza and I need some pizza because it's raining out. That is a very large murder. And there's some nice cherry trees. Anyway, so uh, the sun is down, it's still light out, but it's getting dark quickly. Um, my bus is delayed, but I don't know how much, so there's like a hurry up and wait thing where, um, you know, I can't go too far from the waiting area because it might make up time um, or it might be delayed more and I'm going to be waiting here for a while, so that's annoying. Um, but the main point, as it gets dark and as I'm wandering around Old Town of the Pearl in the kind of dark, um, you know, I just want to, I'm actually making this because, you know, there has been some concerns um, and some of it's warranted where people are like, uh, well, is it dangerous to wait for the bus there? Is this a dangerous neighborhood? Thing is that when you're a traveler, everything is dangerous because you have a bullseye. I'm confused and frazzled and don't know where I am and have all this cumbersome baggage. So for travelers, I always suggest, you know, an abundance of caution, as they say. Um, but the other reality of that is, okay, so maybe this is not the absolute most dangerous ground zero of dangerous downtown Portland. Maybe it's still only getting dark instead of like pitch dark, whatever. Personally, and this is just me, whatever, somebody can say I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I feel safe here. I feel safe everywhere in Portland. When I don't feel safe, I sometimes I get like a, my spidey sense starts tingling. It does happen, um, and I go somewhere else. Uh, but in general, the last time something bad happened to me in Portland, like seriously bad, was 1995, 28 years ago. Um, so this is downtown Portland at night. Uh, this isn't actually downtown, this is Pearl, but for people not from Portland, we're gonna, I'm gonna call Pearl downtown. And there's still restaurants open, there's people out dining, there's stuff going on, there's people driving around, there's hotels. So for me, all of this is pretty normal, um, even as it gets dark and kind of miserable. So if you want to know what downtown Portland is like after dark, well, this is pretty much it. The other irony for me is that when I was a teenager and exploring this area, 
Um, this was all warehouses and it smelled like a brewery. And so when people talk about Portland today is scary to me, you know, having been here in the 90s, um, it's different, not totally the same. But in the 90s, there was not a gigantic H&R block here. There was warehouses. There was also not bespoke beer and wine stores. This was all, there wasn't a Subway sandwich shop here. So all of this is very different from when I was a kid and Portland has gotten better and worse over the years, better in places, worse in others. Uh, and just my experience is yeah, the challenges are different, but a lot of it is exaggerated. Um, but hey, this is just one piece of evidence and I, I don't know if I've, I don't know if I have anything more to say about that. The only other thing to say is like, I'm not gonna take challenges about this because, you know, whenever I go to a place, there's sometimes people say, oh, it's really scary, you just don't know. And there's always gonna be some claimed location where people are gonna like tear out and eat my liver within 10 seconds of stepping in there. I just go where I wanna go, so I'm not looking for challenges or anything. And other people have different perspectives, this is mine. And uh, also at some point, pretty soon I have to stop photographing because all it will be will be a blur of blackness and that uh, that isn't very popular. Anyway, this is Portland at night near Union Station. Make of it what you will. There we are, that's kind of blurry. Bus is here, crisis averted. <laughs>